this is a four ohm stereo test of the Orion NT 200. So let's see what she does. Four ohm stereo. Both channels are loaded down. One channel is being measured. One twenty six point three. Yep, we'll go with 126.3 and we're pulling just over 30 amps of current. All right, here's the NT200 at uh, two ohms stereo, both channels loaded, one channel measured. 14 volts input. It's like 204.8, and we're pulling 53.4 amps. 204.8 watts. All right, here's the one ohm measurement of the Orion NT200, and we have to use the volts RMS because we don't have a one ohm measurement on the O-scope here, but we'll do the calculations for you so you can see. It's like 16.7 volts at about 87.2 amps, 16.7 volts. Let's do the calculation real quick. All right, so here's the measurement, 16.7 volts at one ohm, gives us 279 watts per channel. 279 watts per channel. All right, here we have the 4 ohm mono test of the Orion NT200 at 40 hertz. We have the resistive load. 1. Watch the watt meter there and watch the DD1. Let's see when we hit distortion. Oop. There we go. Looks like 408 watts. As you can see, we are clipping there on the amp and we're pulling 53.6 amps current. So 408 watts. Here we have the resistors wired down to a 2 ohm load and we're going to do a mono measurement at 40 hertz of the Orion NT200. And watch the O-scope for the power. Looks like we're distorting there. 534.6. Let's check. No distortion there. Let's turn it up just a little bit. 557, we have distortion. There's none showing on the amp, so let's turn it up a little bit. That's when the peaking shows on the amp. All right, here we have the Orion NT200 at two ohms bridge mono. And we've been popping 30 amp fuses all day because it's got two 30 amp fuses inside. So 
So we're gonna try to keep it from popping. Usually around 564 watts is where we pop it. There we go, we popped it again. So looks like unless we get some 40 amp fuses inside, we're not gonna get the true RMS measurement. It looks like it's around 534 watts. So we'll have to go with 534 watts at one ohm. I'm sorry, at two ohms model. guys there you have it the orion nt 200 on the bench it appears there may be something wrong with one of the power supply sections because we keep blowing this fuse here i had 30 amp fuse in there i uh, believe from the factory it doesn't really say in the manual but it had 30 amp fuses in it when i received the amp so um I was told by um, an orion technician that a 40 amp would probably be okay so I replaced both of the power supply fuses here with 40 amp and I still pop this one, pop the same one. So there must be something going on there. So I'm not going to stress the amp anymore at the two ohms mono. Uh, that's where we keep blowing the, the fuse. But anyway, you can get a good idea of what the tests I've already done so far as to what this amp does. It is extremely clean power, uh, sounds very good, overbuilt not really built for extremely high power applications or low or high current applications it was just built for sound quality kind of like the phoenix gold uh, zpa amps so uh, there you have it the orion nt 200.